Hey, hey everyone. everyone! We're the Violet Reality. My name is Casey Rain. And I'm Kim Camellia, and we got a special kind of video for you. Welcome to our July haul, Prince Edition, obviously. Now, those of you who <laughs> watch a lot of YouTube know about all different kinds of haul videos, whether that be like clothing hauls or like makeup hauls or uh, music hauls. Uh, ours is a very special Prince haul. Yep. So, um, many of you might remember when we used to do our This Week in Prince videos, um, quite a lot of the time we would end the videos with showing like all the new stuff that we got that week. And we kind of missed doing that since we don't really do the news format videos as much anymore. Um, and so we thought we'd do a month one for all of the cool print stuff that we got in the month of July 2018. So here we go, we're gonna kick it off with some artwork from the same person and a collaboration with someone else. So let's get into it. First let's of all, we have got, da, 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 da. we need to put a drum roll effect in here. Drum roll, please. Someone in the audience, give us a drum roll. Da, da, da. We have the awesome collection of, of pins by 1999 and Cherry Moon Press. Yeah. So they did a special collaboration. So I know lots of you know about the awesome pins that Gigi from Cherry Moon yeah. Press makes, but she did some in a collaboration with Marco, aka 1999, who you should know because we already interviewed him. Um, so we're going to show you some of them. So uh, here's one. It's Prince Love I'm gonna Sex. I'm going to pass them to you. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, we got this one. This 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 particular piece of artwork is gonna pop up again in the video. Glam slam. Yep. Um, we've got this cool circular one. This one is actually the very first um, piece of artwork yeah. that Marco did. Uh, so we got that one. Yeah, and then you know what the yeah. the uh, this cool rose gold <laughs> kind of coin kind of one. Yeah. yeah it looks yeah. like a coin, doesn't it? That, that's why I was just gonna say that this one that looks like a coin. So that's that one, and um, then we've got onto the next one. A few more. The uh, Prince and My Tail one. Yep. <laughs> this one. Yeah. Can you see that? This one with the one eyed base. Can you see that? Up close? Yeah. Yep. Um, and then we've got some more that are facing the wrong way in the packet. It happens. <laughs> I'm gonna put them next to me there. There we go. Uh, this one. And this one. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure we don't have to tell you any of the errors because, you know, if you're watching us, you already know your stuff. That's all the pins that we got this month, yeah, I think. Yeah, that is all um, the pins. And then we also got an awesome uh, fridge magnet. Yeah. So where's the fridge magnet? Here it is. For you fridge magnet. Check it out. That has been taking pride of place on our fridge for the last couple of weeks. So there we go. And then we have another addition to this, also made by the same artist, which is a beautiful, beautiful book with all of his art in it. Yes, we do. We do. Marco's book from the heart. Now, uh, we're not going to show you this right now because that's going to be a separate video. So look out for that coming in the next couple of days. Okay. I keep having the sun in my face, guys. Doesn't that make you remind you of the song You Make My Sunshine? Please. <laughs> Tell me it does, but yeah, it's like golden hour in the UK at the moment, so it's super warm, super sunny, and the sun keeps getting into my face. Moving on. Now, uh, some of you guys might know that Raven to the Joy Fantastic is one of our favorite eras. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, because Prince uh, did this big deal at the time with uh, Arista Records and Clive Davis, there was actually a lot of promo done for that album. Um, things like pens and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. I actually have a V-neck that I bought not long after the album came out. It says Rave <laughs> down the side. But recently, we got this awesome Rave notepad. So cool! And it's uh, like <laughs> if you opened it up, it's a little bit damaged on the front cover, but that's to be expected yeah. given how old it is. But on the inside, it's pristine. And look how cool this is on the inside. Look cool, the background is. It's like you're, you're like writing it on Raven to the Joy Fantastic Raven Paper. To the Joy Fantastic Paper. Yeah. And it also has um, Prince's two websites at the time. Yeah. Uh, the newfunk.com and loveforoneanother.com written at the bottom. So, yeah. yeah. So, how imagine cool is that. Yeah. Imagine someone writing you. Yes, you know, it's the 90s and you got like this pen pal, and they're also a really big Prince fan, and they're writing you on this kind of paper. How cool would that have People been? People had email when Rave came out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> still though, it's cool to write people. I still dig it when people are writing other people. I knew that computers were around in the 90s. Still though, 
<laughs> I'm from a small village, so the 90s didn't quite hit my village show about 2003. So yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> okay, so moving on to yeah. music. So there, um, there's not too many um, releases that are gaps in my Prince collection. I have most things. I've collected most things over the years, and um, maybe not. I maybe don't have everything in every format, but I'll have pretty much every release in at least one format. Um, there's a couple of notable exceptions. So one thing that I don't have is the One Night Alone piano, mm. um, the solo piano CD. Um, that's one thing that I don't have. Uh, I do have the One Night Alone box set, which I know a lot of people don't have. So I was lucky enough to get that. Um, but one thing that was missing, one release that has been missing from my collection for a while is this one, which I just finally got hold of, Yes. The War. So if you don't know about The War, um, it was a promo from 1998, came mm -hmm. out on tape and CD. This is the tape on MPG Records. Um, and it is basically a very long, very funky, sci-fi, dystopian kind of jam, spoken word chant stuff. Yeah. Um, it's pretty, some people find it quite weird. Um, some people find it quite cool. It's definitely not commercial at all. No. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, it's it's definitely for the fans only. Uh, you can see on the side it's a promo, but very cool to have that. So, wall. what do you think of the song itself? I love the wall. Awesome. And so, everybody in the comments, what do you think of the song itself? What is your sort of interpretation behind the song? Like, what was Prince trying to tell you with the song, especially the lyrics on it? Like, like the in your yeah. <laughs> let us know in the comments below and also let us know you know which bits and pieces are still missing from your prince collection or you know it, on, in a different twist which really really awesome things do you have that not a lot of collectors have let us know yeah we're very interested in what you've got to say so moving on to another really cool thing it's actually pretty hard to find mm -hmm. um and we got this at a really really good price like a quarter of what it goes for sometimes <laughs> um for two reasons one because the seller is a friend of ours um and two because we're actually we're missing the the cover apparently it was quite damaged so we've got the record but not the cover but this is the uh the 1980 1980 release uk release of uh, gotta stop messing about so, Gotta Stop Messing About is the A side. B and side. The B side is I Wanna Be Your Lover and Head. Yep. So, <laughs> this is really interesting because uh, it's one of the only times, certainly in the 80s, where there was a release where the A side was not a song that was from an album. So, obviously, Gotta Stop Messing About is not an album song, even though mm. you know it's from Dirty Mind Sessions, but it was released as a single being yep. the main single so most people kind of think about it as as, as like a b-side song yeah. but actually for this release it was the release it was the a-side so this is pretty hard to find um probably even more so if you're not uh in the uk because this was a uk um release yeah so. that's, i think that's the interesting thing that there's like there different releases and different covers and things like that or like finals for different a-sides and b-sides all over the world so there's like it's so cool to collect every single release ever of everything but that's exactly. a, it's a long long way to do that so we've got some other really cool things now they are way too big to show you on camera because we wouldn't be able to hold them because they're basically things that you can hang on the wall now they're not really posters they're more like what do you call that like banners one of them is a silk screen and then one of them is more like a canvas type one i have spent some months looking for this basically and it's really 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 hard to find because it's pretty rare and i think it's quite a cool present <laughs> so this is a rave and to the joy fantastic silk screen which was a promo and it's really really gigantic we'll show you we'll pan to it a really really awesome present i love it so much it's amazing thank you <laughs> thank you who <laughs> thank you kim Yay. Okay, so yeah, that's awesome. And we got another piece of really, really cool artwork. So this is actually part of all the 1999 artwork that we already got. And yeah, so meaning the artist, not the album. No, not the- 90. <laughs> 99. Yes, so 90, as in T, as in like the a T bag. So, yeah. Okay, we got a really cool hanging canvas of him. And where we got this is that he was selling them at the most recent Birmingham Prince party that we went to. And so he was selling a bunch of his artwork and he was selling his book and stuff like that. But he was also selling these canvases. Now, we walked in and the first one that we saw, I think, was a musicology era one. And then we walked around a bit more, got to the stage where he was and then we saw this one and we were like oh my god we need to have this this is so cool this would make such a freaking cool background and it would be so cool on our wall and whatnot so 
We bought it. Yep. Oh, also the entire party was Glam Slam themed. So like yep. basically everyone was in polka dots. Yep. And so that's why this one was there and we picked this up. And yeah. <laughs> how cool is that? I mean, it's just so cool. And then if you can see around it, mm. we also bought a bunch of postcards yeah. of, uh, of Marco 1999's artwork. So what we've done is we put this up on the wall and we've put the postcards surrounding it. So yeah, let us know which design's your favorite. Yep. They're all pretty cool, but uh, I think my favorite is probably um, <laughs> blue and white one with the blue cloud guitar. Um, yeah. Or the alphabet tree one. Yeah, that one's really yeah. cool. My favorite, I think, is the full on blue artwork. So where this prince standing in his blue outfit and then the background is also blue. I think that one's really, really cool. Moving on to the final section of the video. So this is where the clothes haul kicks in. Yep. <laughs> T-shirts. <laughs> yes. So let's show you some cool new t-shirts that we got. Uh, Kim, do you want to do the honors and grab the shirts? Yes. Okay, first things first. I got this awesome shirt from Reverend. Reverend is the artist who designed this. You might know him. He did the artwork for Dwayne Tudal's album. Album? Dwayne Tudal. <laughs> Dwayne, you have an album. You're an artist. <laughs> Dwayne Tudal's book about the Purple Rain era and album. Um, Reverend did that artwork. He also did this cool one, this I Want to Be Your Lover artwork. Uh, and so I bought a shirt of it. So a massive shout out to Reverend. Uh, we love your artwork. And this is really, yes. really cool. And Dwayne, I want to hear your album now, so you better release that one. <laughs> really sad. So then we got the, the latest official shirts from the estate. Can we see this? Wait, now we the need official to like, pull Prince it out deal a with Bravado. Like so we've got this Under the Cherry Moon shirt that yep. just shipped. This one is really, really cool as well. So I would show you the back of it, but this one has nothing on the back. But now the next one. It's coming, it's coming. This one, this one is actually my favorite one because there's like rainbow colors all over it and I love this like retro style rainbow design and I just, oh, I love this design and I love this font that's being used and how it goes in a circle. So this you probably know is the Around the World in a Day <laughs> album artwork. So yeah. on the front you've got the logo that says Prince and the Revolution and, then, and on the back let's you've got around. one that says Around the World in a day. Can we see that? Yeah, okay. Yep. So this one's really, really super cool. And mm. this is my favorite one. Which one's yeah. your favorite? I haven't worn this yet, so the tag is still on it. You can um. see. Official, officially licensed, officially authorized merchandise. Yeah, from the Prince Estate. Ooh. So you can get these, uh, probably lots of people wondering where you can get these from. Yeah. Um, you can get them on eBay. Mm -hmm. um, probably other places. I don't know. Rocket Pool is one site that sells them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any, basically anywhere where um, lots of the official shirts get sold, like from Bravado, which is yeah. the company that has the, the license to make the official Prince merch. Um, they have distributors like all over the world, so. Yeah, they do. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to find it in lots of different places. And if you're still not sure, we can always send you links to places. So just like hit us up on private and DMs or so, and we can help you out with finding where you can buy them in any country that you're in, so yeah. Exactly. All right, everyone. That's it for this video. That has been our July Prince haul from yep. music to t-shirts to merch to artwork. Uh, got lots of awesome purple stuff this month. So what we want to know in the mm -hmm. comments, what print stuff did you get this month? Mm -hmm. Let us know. If you got something really cool, we want to know. Yeah, Send it below or like, um, even take a photo and tag the Violet Reality on Instagram. If yeah. you have Instagram, send us a photo, um, show us what you got or just tell us by text in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> and the other thing is, let us know if you like this whole video, if you like for us to do it more often and for the t-shirts and stuff like that, you know, stuff that you can still buy, which is not like super, super hard to find. We can always post the links as well in the description so that you can find them yourself. So yeah, let us know. Yep. Yeah. All right. Also this cap, PR and alumni, very cool. <laughs> Didn't get it this month, but I got it last month. <laughs> Sneaky that is. All right, that's it, everybody. Catch you next time, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. I don't know why you wouldn't be, but yeah, if you're not, hit that subscribe button. And like the video and share with all of your friends. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Peace. And be wild.